Hi guys, how are y'all? I hope y'all are having an awesome, fantastic day. So I decided to make a video and it's going to be showing you how to make chicken spaghetti. And so you're going to need uh, chicken thighs or chicken breast. You can have it bone in or bone out. It really doesn't matter. You're going to need uh, spaghetti. You're going to need uh, Velveeta cheese. And you're going to need some Rotel. And I will show you the process step by step. And, uh, you know, just make sure that you wash your hands because nobody wants to eat food that has not been washed by, you know, you know, wash your hands, wash the food, blah, 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 blah. I just tripped myself up. But anyway, so guys, y'all sit back, relax, and uh, I'll be back with y'all soon. So guys, you're going to want to clean your chicken really good as in wash it off. And you can use a strainer and wash it really good. And then when you have it all washed really good, of course you're going to put it in a round pan. And you're going to let the chicken boil for one hour. So make sure you clean it first. You're going to cook the chicken in a round pan on a medium temperature for one hour. Guys, you're going to use um, spaghetti noodles. It doesn't matter which type you use, which brand. Uh, you are going to put them in a pan full of water and you're going to let them cook for 15 minutes or at least until they get done. Alrighty. Guys, the cheese that you're going to want to use for the chicken spaghetti is Velveeta Original. And this right here is a 16 ounce size. And I will show you how to cut it up here. Cheese. Oops. You're going to cut it into small pieces. It really depends on how much cheese you want to use. The cheesier, then you're going to want to use more cheese, of course. And then you're going to put the cheese in a pan. Hey, I'm Dad. Do you think I could get a guitar strap? You're going to put the cheese in here like this. Okay, guys, so you're going to get your pieces of cheese. Don't worry, my hands are clean. You're going to cut it up and put it in a, uh, a pan, and you're going to cook it on a medium heat until the cheese gets to a liquid. And then, of course, you're going to take it off the heat and wait, and, uh, and we'll tell you the next process right after this. How much time should I go so far? Okay, guys, and do not forget the milk. You're going to want the milk. Okay, then you're going to put it on the stove at the medium heat. Okay guys, so you're going to uh, basically stir this around into the pan and you want to make sure that you pretty much stir it almost the whole time because you don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan. And you're going to have it at a medium heat and of course you have the milk in here. But that's all you do is you stir it and eventually this will all be a liquid, liquid cheese. All right. Guys, you're going to want to use Rotel Mild, or you can use another Rotel. It doesn't matter if it's mild or not. You're going to put the Rotel in with the cheese. Then you're going to start mixing the Rotel and the cheese and the milk together until it's all a good connection together. And the chicken has 
14 minutes left and the noodles are cooking right now so then the next part we will show you is the chicken spaghetti all together but you'll definitely like I said in the beginning you're, you're going to need some chicken breast or chicken thighs you're going to need some spaghetti noodles any brand any variety you're going to need some Velveeta which I prefer Velveeta Velveeta or you can use an off brand and Rotel so those are the ingredients that you're going to need and you're going to cook the chicken for an hour until it gets cooked nice and soft and of course you're going to shred it pull it apart and put it all together with the uh, Velveeta and the Rotel and the noodles and it is so delicious and we're going to show you the next step in just a few minutes okay guys and you are going to take the chicken out of the pan and put it into the strainer and really it's because it's really hot and so you do not want to pick it up with your hands because you're going to burn your hands so all of the chicken goes in here and you can tell it's completely cooked and then I'm going to run cold water over it so it it cool it off and then and the reason I'm going to run some cold water over it so I don't burn my fingers when I'm shredding it apart there you go and that's going to cool off for a few minutes okay guys and you're going to start shredding the chicken into little pieces because this is what's going to go in the ow I just burnt my fingers anyway this is what is going to be the main ingredient of the chicken spaghetti of course so I'm trying to be careful not to burn my hands yeah just be careful not to burn your hands I should have waited a little bit longer until I started taking it apart um, but the noodles and the uh, Velveeta and Rotel are ready, so that's why I'm doing this. And I'll show you the second part in just a second. Okay, guys, so now you're going to pour the Velveeta cheese and the Rotel and the milk into the chicken. Make sure you get all of it out of there. going to mix it all around in the pan make sure that it's all balanced together right all mixed in together right okay okay guys now you're going to strain your noodles Make sure you get all the water out. Okay, I think we got the majority of the water out. I'm going to put it back in this pan. And voila! So now all we got to do is make some plates and you'll see it from there. Okay guys, here's the noodles. Right here. I'm going to put it on the plate. All nice and pretty. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and get the chicken spaghetti and we're going to put it on the top of the noodles. And there you go guys. This is chicken spaghetti made with uh, spaghetti noodles, chicken breast, boneless, Rotel, Velveeta, 
and milk. And it is so good. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.